The Secret Covenant. This was apparently written by John D. Rockefeller, like, in the early 1800s. An illusion. It will be so large, so vast, it will escape their perception. Those who will see it will be thought of as insane. We will create separate fronts to prevent them from seeing the connection between us. We will behave as if we are not connected to keep the illusion alive. Our goal will be accomplished one drop at a time as to never bring suspicion upon ourselves. This will also prevent them from seeing the changes as they occur. We will always stand above the relative field of their experience for we know the secrets of the absolute. We will work together always and will remain bound by blood and secrecy. Death will come to he who speaks. We will keep their lifespan short and their minds weak while pretending to do the opposite. We will use our knowledge of science and technology in subtle ways so they will never see what is happening. We will use soft metals, aging accelerators, and sedatives in food and water, also in the air. They will be blanketed by poisons everywhere they turn. The soft metals will cause them to lose their minds. We will promise to find them a cure on our many fronts, yet we will feed them more poison. The poisons will be absorbed through their skin and mouths. They will destroy their mind and reproductive systems. From this, their children will be born dead and we will conceal this information. The poisons will be hidden in everything that surrounds them, in what they drink, eat, breathe, wear. We must be ingenious in dispensing the poisons, for they can see far. We will teach them that poisons are good, with fun images and musical tones. Those they look up to will help. We will enlist them to push our poisons. They will see our products being used on film and will grow accustomed to them and will never know their true effect. When they give birth, we will inject poisons in the blood of their children and convince them it is for their help. We will start early on. When their minds are young, we will target their children with what children love most, sweet things. When their teeth decay, we will fill them with metals that will kill them and steal their future. When their ability to learn has been affected, we will create medicine that will make them sicker and cause other diseases for which we will yet create yet more medicines. We will render them docile and weak before us by our power. They will grow depressed, slow, obese, and when they come us to us for help, we will give them more poison. We will focus their attention toward money and material goods so they may never connect with the inner self. We will distract them with fornication, external pleasures and games so they may be with, one, with the oneness of it all.